Welcome to another edition of RCE. This is Brock Palin, and I actually have sitting next to me the one time a year Jeff Squire from Cisco Systems, my wonderful co-host. Jeff, thanks for donating your hotel room. That's right. This is the, this is the second annual uh, show where we're both together in the same location to record. It's it's a it's a very special event. Yeah. So the this event, of course, is Supercomputing Super 2010 computing. SC10, uh, and it's it's a little different and. Let's just, let's just chat about the show. I mean, the, the first obvious thing is I have run into slightly less than 7 billion of our prior guests uh, on <laughs> yes. the show floor. Um, so here, here's the names of I've, I've run into. So Dan Templeton. Yep. Um, so yeah, Dan they, was recently on the show. Was just recently on the show. And some people doubted that Oracle would be here, but living proof. Yep. He was there. They were here the with a booth. They were there with a booth. And he was shilling OGE. Yep. And he was giving out freebies, and he was very pleased about it. Yep. Yeah. And then we also ran into Nicole Hemsoth. Yep, the uh, author. You can follow her on Twitter at um, HPC in the Cloud. HPC in the Cloud, all one big word there. And she is actually uh, quite funny. Uh, <laughs> we, we our, our sense of humor is actually match very well. It's it's a little little side story. How much gets left on the cutting room floor whenever we record an, an RCE? Isn't it? Yes. Uh, much, much does not quite get to air. Yes, yes, a lot, a lot does not. <laughs> a lot does not get to air. But uh, yeah, it was always nice to see Nicole. Well, actually, it was the first time we had met in person. Um, but we had a nice chat, and uh, she got a nice RCE shirt. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she did. And uh, Ashley Pittman Ashley was Pittman. here. Um, he was kind of here on his own, but mm-hmm. also representing Data Direct Networks. His sort of employer. representing DDN. Yeah. Yes, he, and he was helping them P-A-D-B, out. A real nice guy. not Pad B. P-A-D-B. P-A-D-B. Yes, that's right. P-A-D-B. Actually, he's got um, that lovely uh, British accent there. Sounds cooler than all of us. <laughs> yes, yes, the British accent. Yeah. Uh, and um, speaking of accents... Uh, Dr. Brice Gogla? Yeah, you, you didn't even want to try. Yep. You didn't want to try. <laughs> Dr. Brice and some of his colleagues. Yeah. At, at, we had Brice speaking in the Cisco booth, and we also had Brice speaking at the uh, the Open MPI forum. So he was talking about uh, H.W. Loke uh, that we had him on the show for, but also talking about K&M. Which is another product uh, or another project? Uh, maybe we'll have them on to talk about KM someday. Mm-hmm. Uh, also saw Scat Lathrop and Kay Hunt from the Terragrid and the Terragrid Campus Champions program. Again, I'm the campus champion. I'll have more information on that later. Mm-hmm. But who else did you run into? So I ran into uh, uh, all the MPitch people because um, MPI is a small world. But uh, we had the MPitch guys on uh, MPICH. Show. I'm sorry, MPICH. That's right. If we're going to do PADB, we can do MPICH. Mm-hmm. Um, so saw the MPICH people. Amusingly enough, their boff was directly opposite the hallway uh, the, from the open MPI boff. It's actually a real shame because uh, it, it was it was unfortunate that the MPICH boff and the open MPI boff were at the same time because uh, I know there were people that wanted to go to both. I I definitely wanted to go to theirs, uh, see what they have to say and stuff like that. But there's only so many time slots, and I'm, I'm sure there was compromises made all over the place. But it was kind of a bummer that the two. Big open source MPIs were kind of uh, competing because I'm sure we stole some audience from each other. And we also saw uh, Heya Nam mm-hmm. and uh, Tiki Swears Brown. Yep. Um, I didn't realize that was t- uh, Tiki, Tiki, but time, I guess yes. it was Tiki <laughs> that I met. Mm-hmm. And uh, that was for the student cluster competition. Yeah, we judged. Uh, so Brock and I were part of the judging crew for the interview portion of the student cluster competition today, which was that was tremendous fun, actually. I had a great time doing that. And yeah, we'll have more about that. Uh, we will have more about that, yes. Yeah, we'll have more about that soon. Um, I also ran into Rich Graham. Rich Graham and, uh, and Bill Gropp did uh, the MPF Forum uh, episode for us uh, a while ago. So, uh, well, I see Rich Graham all the time. But all the new yeah, stuff going yeah, into yeah, you got to tick them off here as, you know, I, I guess. So. HDF. Yeah. Um, and you also ran into... Jason, Jason Stowe, yeah, Jason Stowe from Cycle Computing, mm-hmm. um, the uh, commercial Condor provider and yeah. supporter, and doing uh, cloudy things too. Yeah, um, no, um, they're a pretty versatile piece of equipment they've got there. Yeah, uh, software equipment. So that that uh, that exhausts my list. Do you run anymore? That uh, no, no. That's as ever, everybody you mentioned, uh, it's, it's a pretty good group though. Actually, that's a no. It's, it's good. There was a good RCE showing, and also I managed to tonight. It's Wednesday night, by the way, when we're recording this. So if anything good happens on Thursday at the show. Or yeah, just pretend we put it in the show. Yeah. yeah. Um, gave away my last RCE t-shirt. Ah, I have two more. I have two more to go. Ah, so this All is right, cool. So yeah. 
Well, nobody's going to hear this before. No, yeah, no one is. Right. Well, um, I'll still manage to get them away tomorrow. This is yeah. someone who is worthy. Yeah. My goal here, though, is to win an iPad. I have entered every single iPad drawing on the show floor, but yet I still have not won. That so sad. By far the most popular drawing yeah. giveaway is everyone's giving away. An everybody's iPad. giving away an iPad. Yeah. But only a few people are getting them. I'm not one of them yet. So big things going on that we saw at Talks and Stuff on um, OpenSFS, a scalable file system. Yep, a uh, lot of questions about that. Yeah, this is the organization that's set up to kind of have an entry point and funding for doing luster development. Mm -hmm. And they are very tightly in with Oracle. Okay. So, so there is so explain no, that. So yeah, there's, there's a lot of questions. No forking. That was very okay. Heavily leaned on. No forking. Okay. Good stuff d being done in SFS will be pushed up to Oracle. Things that Oracle do will be brought down to SFS. They should stay compatible. Okay. There should there's there's no forking. Sounds like there's harmony. Yes. Harmony. Yes. Good. So right. well, that's good. So luster future is. And, but Luster the, Future looks bright. Luster Future looks bright. Um, okay. Wham Cloud mm -hmm. ran into them at the Terra Grid conference. They they had a single placeholder page for a website. Mm -hmm. A bunch of Luster devs mm -hmm. um, and this whole shakeup. They are fully funded in a major way, working on Luster with Oracle, where Luster is. Luster is going to be a Luster is going to keep so Luster's going Luster's to be a future is very bright. Luster's future is very bright. Okay, well that's good. Uh, I'm sure a lot of people will be relieved about that. Mm -hmm. um, as as mentioned, I did. Uh, we had an open MPI boff. We talked about uh, you know the one four series and the one five series where we're going. A couple samples of uh, up and coming projects which aren't in the release series yet. But the, the boffs were only an hour this year, so we actually didn't we didn't get to get into any meaty stuff, and we didn't really get to get uh, too much audience feedback, which was kind of a bummer. We like doing that every year. It's, you know, we develop all this stuff back at our little cloisters and the things that we think are useful to the world, but it's always good to get, you know, real world feedback from actual users, actual admins and things like that. And so we didn't really have enough time to get that, which was a, a little bit of a, a bummer this year. But but otherwise, the, the forum, uh, I'm sorry, the, uh, the MPI, open MPI boff was pretty good. We were in a ginormous room, though. I don't know how we got a ginormous room, and it looked... It looked like it was empty, even though we had upwards of like sixty people in the room. So it was good attendance. Sixty people, that's good attendance. Uh, but it looked like, uh, oh yes, there aren't many people here. But but it was still good. We got a couple of nice questions at the end, and uh, um, some some good feedback. But uh, would have would have been nice to be a little bit longer. So as we mentioned earlier, we ran into Iki Swears Brown and Hey Anam um, after our last recording. Uh, they asked Jeff and I to help out along with two other people uh, doing the interview portions of the competition. Mm -hmm. Had a number of teams, uh, a few Eight international teams, a couple international teams, and um, boy, some of those teams were just really impressive. But we'll we'll talk about that. Uh, we'll have a separate show. All yeah, about that. we'll have a separate follow up with the uh, student cluster competition. Yeah, um, and of course, I, it's a, it's obligatory for my my corporate overloads to say that uh, you know Cisco had a nice booth here, and uh, we're showing a bunch of nice products. We're showing forty gig. In our booth, uh, forty gig Ethernet, because we love all things Ethernet. Doesn't doesn't everybody love all things Ethernet? I think everybody has some Ethernet who has a cluster. <laughs> it's probably true. Most people do have Ethernet. So yeah, we were showing a bunch of forty gig stuff, which is actually pretty cool. There's hundred gig on the floor as well. Yeah, hundred lots of hundred, lots of hundred and forty gig, and and Cisco is powering a bunch of hundred gig and forty gig stuff in. Signet itself, um, so that's actually pretty cool. So that stuff, I think, will be publicly available around the corner. I'm not in the marketing arm of Cisco, so don't hold me to any dates or anything like that. But I know that stuff is coming soon. Um, it's all very exciting, uh, good stuff. Yeah, saw some uh, 10 gig E on twisted pair, regular RJ45. Yeah, baby. So it's just the same way we went from 10 to 100 to 100 to gig. Pretty soon, it's going to be 10 gig. That's right, baby. You're going to have 100 gig into your alarm clock. Because <laughs> you're gonna need it for those completely big, lossless large buzzer letters. Sound, that's right, right. <laughs> lossless buzzers that's stored in the cloud. <laughs> that's right. You can pick one from a million different movies to stream to your alarm clock yeah. simultaneously. Uh, we had a get together for the campus champions. I'm the you know, campus champion for the University of Michigan Ann Arbor. Uh, the campus champion program. We have a bunch of new champions. Really turning into a big crew, a really good crew of people. Helping at 
their local universities and institutions use the Terra Grid National Resources. Um, and that was, it was really great to see all these people and it's really gonna be a group of people that like really can approachable, help, a lot of cross-pollination of ideas of how things are being done locally, not even on Terra Grid. Yeah, it's really, really important good. because I mean, I, I actually ran into a bunch of students and some of them, the most common question I get, like master's level students, you know, entry level grad students were saying, how do I get started in this? You know, they ended up coming here, they're on a grant or they're on a student thing or they took one class in parallel computing and things like that. And the, the common question I always hear is, how do I move forward? How do I do more than that? You know, like, uh, like even some of the student cluster people we talked to today, they're like, oh, yeah, you know, I, I took an MPI programming class. But then I learned when I was doing a competition, I learned all about shell script programming and how to apply that and make it a real world skill and, and do something with it. And so... You know, having people that can help you along the way, I, that's just so tremendously important. Yeah. Actually, another thing we saw with the student cluster thing is some interesting hardware. But we'll cover it. We'll talk about it. I know. We, it's, so, it's, it's so tempting to want to talk about yeah. it. But we'll come back. We'll come back. Stay tuned. <laughs> All right. So let's, let's talk about uh, – we talked about a bunch of uh, specific things. Let's talk about general reaction of the show this year. What, what's your gut feel? Here, what do you think after being around the show for a couple of days? Not a lot of new risk taking from the vendors. No mm -hmm. big different like I'd roll the dice whether you're going to be in business next year. Yeah, there's no yeah yeah I, a lot I would of have to agree. Conservative plays. Yeah, it, it, probably a, a good reflection on the economy, and God knows neither Brock nor I are analysts or anything like that. So this is gut feel of just two guys walking around the floor, but. Seemed very much like an evolutionary conference, not a revolutionary conference. Revolution, revolutionary, revolutionary conference. Um, that uh, you know, there's new stuff. Uh, it's the next gen of all kinds of things, and there are even some somewhat impressive things and so on. But I agree. I mean, there seems to be kind of less equipment and less demos, and yeah. because there's less, uh, there's not the the new big thing. You know, except for 40 and gig, 100 and 100 gig Ethernet, mm -hmm. of course, which, but, you know. But we've been kind of needing 40 and 100 gig Ethernet yeah, for a while, so. I have to put in the mandatory plug for that. But, uh, you know, I agree. that there, there wasn't so much equipment and flashy lights and things like that because, you know, even last year we were talking about GPUs and now we're seeing bigger and better GPUs and so on. But not some of the same old problems for GPUs remain and things like that. And we're seeing uh, more accelerators of different types and so on. But they're just the next gen and so on. And better servers with Nehalems and Westmere's. Um, can't really talk much about Sandy Bridge yet other than what's out on, say, TechCrunch and things like that. Uh, that's all coming. But it's all all been evolutionary kinds of things, which is not bad. Uh, well, it's just a lot of times there'll be pent up R&D demand. Yeah. Next year or the year after that, there may be a massive amount of new stuff, yeah. new companies we never even heard of. and. Doing cool new stuff. Yeah, don't don't think this industry is dead by no, a long not at shot. All. You look it, at this thing. There's people everywhere. Great show, um, and and, and good, you know half of the show is going around and talking to people in the the million little sidebar conversations that you have, um, and uh, even the vendors who don't necessarily have a strong play this year all come because they still need to talk to everybody, right? You need yeah. to talk with the customers and talk with the developers and talk with the you know the users and all these kinds of things, and all that happens. Tenfold. I mean, this year, somehow the dice rolled and I didn't have any booth duty at all at Cisco. I gave a couple talks here and there. And I was like, wow, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have so much time to go around the floor and everything. Not so much at all. No. <laughs> you, get, you get embroiled and no. embroiled is the wrong word. You get, you get involved in all these conversations and a million things come up because that, that's what happens in supercomputing because everybody's here. I've only been doing high-performance computing for about seven years, and two of those I was an undergrad. <laughs> so I've only been doing this full-time five years. And the relationships, people around the floor, knowing faces, even in this huge thousands of people at this thing. 12,000. 12,000. That's what somebody quoted to me. I don't know if it's – why don't we bump it up? We'll say 30,000 people. <laughs> <laughs> no, somebody told me they thought it was somewhere around 12,000. I don't know if that's accurate or not. But, yeah. but um, seeing faces, you yeah. know, ideas mm -hmm. flowing both ways, it's really good. Basically, if you're an admin and you listen to this or even a user, you, you should come to this show. You really should because, you know, <laughs> I, the number of meetings that I now have set up in December as a result of this show uh, is staggering. Um, but that happens every year, and it's great because it's kind of like a, a a reboot point for the year, right? Where you you start off 
on that next big project because of that meeting you had at Supercomputer. Mm-hmm. Anyway, we're turning into an advertising for Supercomputer. Yeah. It's a good show. It is a good show. It's a good show. It's a good show. <laughs> even, even if the hardware uh, and software showings weren't strong this year, everything else is still strong. Mm-hmm. So. But there was one good thing compared to last year. Yeah. Last year, we were kind of still in the big slump. Mm-hmm. A lot of the commercial providers were actually laying off staff, yeah. development staff, admin yeah. staff. Um, and there was people last year who came to SC on their own and were networking and kind of passing the resume around. Yeah. This year, I haven't met anybody. I, I, I've met a small number, not nearly as many as last yeah. year. Um, most everybody I know who got hosed by last year ha- has landed successfully elsewhere. Yeah. Every, um, in everybody the same I business. know has gotten a job. Yeah, in, in the in, same business. So they're all in HPC of some flavor. Um, maybe you know, not necessarily doing exactly the same thing, but quite definitely a lot fewer people saying, uh, "Hey, uh, can you help me out?" Um, and that's that's a great sign for uh, the industry and the economy and all this kind of stuff. So I was very very pleased to see that. That's that's a good observation. But overall, it's a good show. Overall, good show. Yeah. Um, one one other thing. Let's let's talk about the GPU thing because GPU is now everywhere. Last year it was mostly everywhere. Now it's everywhere. And then now it's literally. Now everywhere. it's literally everywhere. Um, still got to say, I'm 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 not a convert, right? I, I I think they're they're good things. I think they're great for certain applications. And I hope I, you know I have friends who work at Nvidia, and I hope they don't hate me for saying this. Um, I, I I think they're doing a fabulous job over there at Nvidia, and I think there's there's a a, a whole pile of applications that they work for. But I, I don't see them as the general panacea. For that makes everything better in HPC. Because it's not going to be what the cluster was to the old kind of custom generic distributed memory. System yeah, yeah, yeah. I, the custom equipment. Not everything is embarrassingly parallel, right? Somebody, I actually read that in a tweet earlier this week. I, I don't know exactly who said it, but GPUs are great at embarrassingly parallel stuff where you can just shovel a whole bunch of stuff down there and they do it fabulously. But not every HPC problem is that way. That said, I've got a couple of users mm-hmm. whose problem maps perfectly onto GPUs, mm-hmm. and I've handed over many a large PO with lots of zeros on the ends <laughs> for GPU gear. Excellent. And there's more That's on fabulous. our horizon. So That's great. The right, the right hammer for the right mm-hmm. nail. Yeah, excellent. That is good. And and there are there have been a couple other accelerators around the show, um, not necessarily GPU accelerators. There's a couple of vendors shilling that kind of stuff. There's some FPGA guys here, um, and so on. some have uh, good software solutions, some don't have good software solutions. Some are just like, hey, here's the hardware, go go figure it out. Um, I think that's interesting, too. It doesn't get nearly as much press, um, and it definitely takes more expertise. Well, I mean, GPU takes expertise, too. Yeah. Um, but you have your laptop. It's easy to kind of get started. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Um, so I don't know. I, I, the role of accelerators this is going to be interesting. And, and what's going to happen with Sandy Bridge? I don't know. It's going to change this market dynamic quite a bit, right? Because uh, the public information out there on on Intel Sandy Bridge is, you know, there's an accelerator right there. What are you going to do? Yeah. I don't know. That that's going to be interesting to see what happens over the next year or two. Um, what happens to the GPU market, the general accelerator market for HPC, um, and the whole Intel uh, revolutionary stuff with you know Sandy Bridge and accelerators built in. We're back into the days of, you know, 486 plus uh, numerical coprocessors, right? <laughs> we really that are. socket you just kind of shoved That's it in. That's right, and it was, it was right there. <laughs> yeah. Um, but that'll, that'll be interesting to see what kind of software solutions come out because, I mean, that you can build the greatest hardware in the world, and if you don't have a good solution that everybody can use, uh, then uh, that, uh, that hardware will sit there gathering dust. So I think it's going to be really exciting to see what software solutions come out of this stuff as a software-biased guy myself, so. By the way, good show. Good show. New Orleans, good food. Good food. Uh, I had some. I had some bad food too. <laughs> I accidentally went into a tourist trap place and didn't realize it till it was too late. And it was fried, 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 and a little more fried. And uh, I was like, hmm, okay, good stuff. But uh, great Every city. Every place has a hot sauce. As well. Every place has different hot sauce too. Different hot sauce. Yeah. But Arnett, anything right. else? No, I think we're good. Okay. Well, see you at SC 2011. Yeah, we'll probably talk before then, though. Yeah, feeling, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we'll. we'll but this, this is a once show. annual show, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, <laughs> you can find us online at rce cast.com. Have a nomination form, look at up what upcoming shows possibly Send are. Send us what you want to hear. Mm-hmm. And download old shows. 
Download iTunes only versions. shows like the last ten. Does it really? Yeah. So if you want, they're all, all there. of them are on the website. Though they're all there, and we look at the web stats. So yeah. it'd be kind of fun if, like, uh, you know, pick pick an old show, and we have like ten thousand people just download that one again, <laughs> just because. You know, pump up those web stats. Okay. Well, till mm-hmm. the next show. Till next time. <laughs> <laughs>